Man, you know, some days you're just gonna have a whole lot of thoughts in your head, but you can't let your thoughts become worries. That's all it is. Some days you're just gonna have a whole lot of thoughts in your head, but don't let those things become worries. Uh, ain't nothing ever get fixed by worrying. Ain't nothing ever get better by worrying. But a whole lot of things get stressful when you worry. So sometimes you're just gonna have to have thoughts. At the field, <sighs> y'all, <sighs> I did eight 100s, <sighs> and then I'm not calling it a day. I was just gonna lift today, but um, I saw people in there doing cardio, and I looked at myself and said, I got reminded that whenever I go back to school, we're gonna have a conditioning test. Last year, I did good, but I wanna do better. And I don't want to be bad. I don't want to do bad. I refuse to do worse than somebody. And if someone does better than me, that's good for them. But they're not going to do better than me because I failed to do what I was supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one thing if someone's just all talented. And they're just, you know what I'm saying, they outwork you. It's another thing if you just don't work. And you just give them that spot. You just give them that position. Because you chose not to work hard. You know what I'm saying? And I refuse, cause ain't nobody working harder than me in the gym. And so I gotta make sure nobody's working harder than me on the field. Cause I, if I'm working harder in both places, and then spiritually on top of that, who's touching, you know what I'm saying? Who's touching us? But if we fail to do what we're supposed to do, everybody gonna be doing better than us. And we can't have that, can we? We can't have that. Oh! It's 11.34, and you know, we are just now getting ready. We're not getting ready, we're already done. Well, we are just now heading to work, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a little later than I wanted to get out of the house, but I'm out the house nevertheless. And my thing just tipped over. No. Oh, my sweet tea. Oh, no. Let's see. I got to keep this. There we go. The junk will spill. It's okay. Whew. Yeah, so now we are on the way to work. Here's the work fit. I'm in my Chick-fil-A work fit again. Even though I've never worked at Chick-fil-A. Because once again, like I said, they would be out of business because I would be the business. And if I'm in the back, I ain't paying. I refuse to think people really think that that cyber truck is a not. I refuse. I don't care how much bread I got. I don't care how new the trend is. You will never catch AB in no dang cyber truck. It just don't make sense. It just don't make sense. Maybe, maybe I'm a hater. Maybe I'm a hater, man. I'm a hater. That's what it is. I'm a hater. Can I please ask somebody what the community safety people do exactly? Well, obviously community safety, but like, what is that? <laughs> hey man, peep the post work fit, man. You know what I'm saying? We about to go slide and hang out with Jay. Whoop him in some 2K, a joint rhyme. Hey, before I left, tell me why the heck my brother, my brother just kind of dissed me, man. He was like, he was telling my, my pops, he was like, <laughs> he was like, I'm kind of jealous of my friend, man. Like, they are already taking their um, driver's um, test in a week. I was 15. And he was like, but then I think about Alexander and how he didn't get his license till 17. And I, I just get happy. Like, wow. Wow. That's respect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, 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 didn't, get my, I didn't get my license to um, like beginning of July in the June of 2022 my going into my senior year so it took me a little bit i was like you had to do me like that man it, it wasn't even that serious man when y'all get y'all's license man i'm sure most of y'all if y'all my, my age y'all probably got it uh going into junior year or during junior year but I, that was not me i'll tell you that for sure oh, that's not me bro i'm better than all y'all man i'm way better than kai bro I, uh... like... Come on, man. Me and Jay finna get at it. Man. That game's never happened again. Last time we played this, I ain't gonna lie, Jay beat me like 70, bro. Cause it, yeah, I can do it. The suck. Knicks suck. That's what oh, happened. Geez. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. I promise you, this game, y'all, I'm gonna I'm play Jay and I'm, I'm gonna put up 45 plus. I'm putting up 45 more points than he does. Watch it. Oh, okay. Watch it. Okay. Watch it. Are we doing all time record? Uh, all time. Because, I mean, these record teams suck this year. I wouldn't say that. No, this, this is one of the worst years of like teams like, all around, you know? Right yeah. Alright. Let's see what team we get. I'll see. I'm on the left. I'm on the left. Let's oh, see. Okay. I'm fine with this. I got Let me do mine. Let me do mine. X. It's not. Okay, there we go. 
Who do I get? Who do I get? Well, I swear if he gets. Yes! All right, so yes! I'm... You're done! Dang, he got Sean Marion. Let's do it, baby. Oh, what do you mean, Sean Marion? Like, Sean Marion's just some goaded player. Bro, he is. Sean Marion's good. You say, dude, you have Shaquille. Well, who's that? You got Jermaine O'Neal. I got Danny Green. Dude, too. Flight flight be talking about Jermaine O'Neal like he's the GOAT, bro. So I know he got to be good. Bro. You know, I'll be respectful and show our loss, bro. It's cool. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? I can promise you we're going to look at the rebounds. Watch, 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 watch. I'm going to look at the rebounds. It's probably not that big of a difference, bro. You want to bet, bro? Yeah. Right. You, you go to team comparison. Team comparison? Yeah. Watch. Total game. Look, Offensive you, rebounds. You beat me in both. I had 12. You had 8. You beat me in each category. You you had 19. I had 20. Wow. And an offensive. Dude, oh see, God. you killed me, dude. You just, you're, you're, you're. It really was my three-point percentage. Like, I was 12 for 24. You were 5 for 19. You also have a better shooting team, apparently, or something. I don't know. Don't worry, y'all boys. We got it back. Yeah, barely. You'll never blow me out ever again. You do know that, right? Jay. Nope. Nope. Yeah. I, I think I blew you out the last like three, four times you came here. So yeah, but you also let me, me but you here. always That's also facts. let me come back. So That's I facts. mean, I've also well, other than the day, the last two times I came and played before, I came back. Yeah, but you didn't today. So does that? Really yeah, but you didn't come back. You didn't come back either, though. I mean, yeah, but oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, but you didn't come back you either. You have Michael Jordan in your team. What does that mean? You have Damian Lillard. Are we really comparing Michael Jordan and Damian Lillard? Yep, yeah, and yeah, Bill Walton. Yep. Are, are we really comparing? Michael Jordan to Damian Lillard? Yeah, bro. Damian, you have Clyde Drexler, bro. Are, are we seriously comparing those two players? Yes. Oh, I, I didn't know. You went, but it's your fault. You lost. You went two for eight from three. <gasps> that's why. Yeah, I went nine for 26. So. You see, that's your fault, bro. And you see, Michael Jordan went six for 13 from three because he's the greatest three-point shooter in history. Yeah. Y'all don't really want to take y'all's time for real, man. I don't really want to take much of y'all's time up. Don't ask me what I just did. That was really weird. But I really don't want to take too much of y'all's time up. What I wanted to do today is just speak to y'all um, out of Jeremiah the sixth chapter. You know what I'm saying? It's been a little bit since I, since I pulled up some verses in front of y'all. So y'all don't get them, man. I'm, I'm going to start pulling them up again soon. I'm going to start talking straight out the word in a minute. Um, but I want to give y'all what I've been understanding, what's been coming to me. And I think today in Jeremiah the sixth chapter, it just happens to correlate perfectly with the sermon I, I listened to earlier. And the whole entire understanding of the sermon that I truly got um, is just the importance of taking our sin serious. Um, there was more that he spoke about, but I genuinely understood taking our sin serious. And I talk about this all the time, the value of sin. There's a video about that. Um, and I talk about sin all the time because obviously sin separates us from God and separation from God is death. But I think that we need to take about, talk about all the things that sin leads to. We see the physical things that sin leads to, such as destruction and things so on. But now I want you to talk about the hardest thing, which um, is the forgiveness, the forgiving ourselves and the forgiveness we receive, we receive from God. It, it's one of the hardest things is forgiving yourself, you know, because we acknowledge, OK, God forgives us. And we're like, thank you for it. But then it's like, how do I forgive myself? I remember um, me and my ex-girlfriend had broke up. This is a story I, thought I was talking about the other day. And afterwards, uh, after we broke up, I was in a really odd place. And I allowed my flesh to take over. And I acted off my flesh. And I made a mistake um, that I would, would never do again if I genuinely thought. And I, wouldn't, I would never do again. And so that, that happened. And afterwards, it was so tough to forgive myself. I prayed and I prayed about it. I prayed so many times, I can't think of, I think about how many times I prayed, but I would just keep praying. Um, and it took me for a while to understand, God's already forgiven you, Alex. You redirected your heart towards and you repented, and you, you, you worked, not worked, but you genuinely, you did what you were supposed to do with him. Now it's time that you forgive yourself, you know? Because I think the hardest thing for us to understand that God's going to forgive every time that we repent and genuinely turn away from our sin. Every time that we genuinely redirect our hearts towards him. Because what, what, what I want you to understand is while I acted in a way that hurt that young lady emotionally. Um, anytime we hurt each other as people in this world, anytime we wrong each other, all we're doing is sinning against God. Because we, we, are, we are God's creation. And every time we hurt God's creation, sin against God's creation. When you hurt yourself by the things that you do, drinking, drinking overly, taking too many uh, drugs, gluttony, all these different things. Anytime you hurt anybody, anything of God's creation, 
you ultimately sinning against God. And that's how we why we have to take things seriously. Because sometimes we think about the big things like blasphemy or or sexual immorality and different things like that. But we don't take into consideration the little things or the things that happen in between us humans these days. We say something rude to the person next to us or may hurt their feelings. Little things like that dishonor God. They hurt God's heart. And sometimes with, with the bigger things, it can be real hard to forgive yourself. And the, one of the reasons it's really hard to forgive yourself is the fact that you don't forget what happened. You don't forget. To this day, I have some days where I think about my old sins, some of the things I've committed. And we're supposed to leave those things in the past 100%, but we are never meant to forget. And today he was talking about that, the forgetting, the forgetting of our sins and how we should never want to forget. And, and you know what I'm saying? In, in your mind, it can be like, well, I want to forget all I ever did. I want to forget the bad things. I want to forget my sins. God's already forgiven me. God's already forgotten my sins. And one thing he said is that you're right. God's forgotten your sins, but you're not God. You can't forget. <laughs> he said, if anybody who can forget anything and genuinely forget, that's called amnesia. You know what I'm saying? And that's not a good thing. You're not supposed to forget. If we forgot our sins, that means we forget our testimony. Because what happens is when we sin and we come to God in repentance, what does he do? He forgives us. And what does he do? He, he redeems us. He cleanses us of, our, us of our sins. And if we don't remember that he cleanses us, that means that we don't remember our testimony. We can't recall where the Lord has took us from. And one other thing, if you forget the lesson you learned, because again, you learn lessons through, through repentance and sin. You learn what, what not to do. You learn that you have strength in God. You know what to stay away from. You know that you learn that God is your strength and you don't need that sin. You learn so much from it and they all lead you closer to God. And if you forget that sin, if you forget it, you know, you're forgetting all the things the Lord has taught you, taught you. And all you're doing is making it much easier to return to those, those sins that you committed. You don't want to forget. I don't want to forget. And one thing he said is that he said he said that it, it, he prays that he will never forget because that forget that, that that forgetting will take away of so much of what God has given us. And I, I pray I don't forget because I, I recall some of my sins and they disgust me to my core. My sexual morality disgusted me to my I mean, I, I, I probably think about my sexual morality multiple times a day and it just disgusts me. It makes me upset, but I'm not mad at myself. I'm no longer mad at myself, but it's a constant reminder, Alex, you don't need that stuff. All you need is God. It's a constant reminder of where God has taken me from. And one thing I struggle with sometimes in my walk with faith is, is not being where I want to be yet. But so he said something that really stood out to me and I had me hit, hitting the had me hitting the uh, in-between area where you put stuff in your, your car because I was just so hype and I was happy about what he said. He said you know what I'm saying? I may not be where I want to be, but thank God I'm not where I was. Because, y'all, I've been a lot of places. I've done a lot of things, said a lot of things that I'm not proud of. But thank God I'm no longer that man. I'm no longer where that young man was. I've been brought further, but I've only been brought further because the Lord broke me. When I sinned, when I went and did those things, he broke me and put me back together. He had to correct me, y'all. He had to discipline me. There's times I sinned and I got the repercussions that I deserve. I had to go through some pain, but thank God, thank God that I learned. Thank God that I'm not where I was. But the only reason I'm not where I was is because I didn't, I don't, I didn't forget y'all. I didn't forget. I still remember and because I remember, I know what to do. Because I remember, I can give God glory and praise for where he's taking me from. Because I remember, I know that I never want to go back. And so I'm going to stand strong on that. And while I may never forget my sins, one thing, I, one thing about not forgetting, it, it, it makes you not want to sin again because you think about how it made you feel. And you're like, dang, I don't ever want to do that sin again. And above and beyond all, sin hurts. Sin, sin hurts our relationship with God. And it hurts our relationship with God because it goes against our Lord. It goes against our God. And we have to start taking it personal. Every single time we sin, we are directly opposing God disobeying God, disrespecting God. Think about that. Every single time we sin from a little thing to the smallest things. And so you don't want to forget that because the second you forget that you are leaving yourself susceptible to the enemy's plans and plots to make you fall again. But understand the Lord has already picked you up. Don't you allow yourself to fall because you choose not to remember the things God has took you from because maybe the memory is too tough for you. Maybe the memory hurts too bad. Mm -mm. It sucks, but we're not going to do it again because we remember where God has took us from. 
We may not be where we want to be. We may still be some sinful creatures. Trust me, I got my problems and you got yours. But thank God we are not where we were. Let us pray. Dear God, we've been through some things. Our heart has been in some places that it should have never been. And we've been some places we should have never been. But in the midst of it, Lord God, you were there. You weren't always happy with us. You weren't always smiling the things we did. And we apologize, Lord God, wholeheartedly for those things. We ask you, Lord God, to help us to truly, Lord God, embody our for our 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 sorrow through the way that we live. Not just saying sorry, God, but living, Lord God, in respect, living, Lord God, and honoring you. Living, Lord God, and turning away from the world and turning towards you. Forgive us, Father. And thank you for already forgiving us. Help us, Lord God, to truly take you serious. And to take our sin, Lord God. And look at it and ponder it. And realize, Lord God, we've dishonored you. But now I know how, Lord God, to do better. Now I know what I need to do. Now, Lord God, I know where I never want to return to. And I'm so sorry for ever going there in the first place. But we, Lord God, thank you for the fact you've forgiven us today. So we will walk, Lord God, in that forgiveness. We will talk in that forgiveness. We will embody that forgiveness with our lives, God. It's in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we all pray. Amen. Amen. Y'all enjoy that vlog, man. Make sure you buy a like, comment, and subscribe. I pray you love the vibe, man. Hey. Awake. Awake. No limit. Ah! Young and winning, we'll say that.